For experiments involving mechanics, the Senko track can do it all. Velocity, acceleration, harmonic motion, momentum, and much more. The main component of any good track is a good dynamics cart. We have the plunger cart and the non-plunger cart. Both have low friction, smooth rolling wheels, and if they fall off the table, they won't break. If someone were to step on one when it is on the ground, the spring-loaded wheels retreat into the body of the car. No slips, no accidents, and the car is undamaged. The included 500 and 1000 gram masses fit into the padded frame with magnets, so they will not fall out during experiments. Illustrating momentum demonstrations are easy to do whether they are elastic collisions or inelastic collisions. If you want to collect data on velocity, then place these two fences on top of the cars. These are also held in place by magnets, so they remain secure on the cart. Acceleration experiments can be investigated in two ways. One involves an external force supplied by this pulley and mass. If you attach our protractor, you can perform experiments at angles and always have an accurate reading of the incline. If you want to demonstrate components on an incline, simply remove the string and pulley, and students can investigate acceleration and free body diagrams. With the carts on the track, a quick and easy attachment can be added to demonstrate simple harmonic motion. The magnetic bases make this an easy application. Set the system in motion. If you add the fences onto the carts, you can turn a demonstration into a quantitative experiment. The versatility and durability of the Senko Mechanics cart will make it a key product for your physics lab. The Optics Upgrade 1 package includes all the lenses and devices you see here. The same mechanics track system can be used for a mechanics lesson or an optics lesson. With this equipment, you can cover topics from the human eye and simple lenses to how microscopes and telescopes function. The light source attaches to the cradle and either the height or angle can be adjusted. The lens holders help to block stray light with their wide design and have a locking ring which holds the lenses in place. A sturdy white metal screen is the final component to give you the basic setup for an optics experiment. The measuring scale on the sides and top help to keep the readings accurate. With an image source, you can demonstrate the object distance and image distance and how they are related. Or use multiple slits to demonstrate diffraction. If the lens formulas are not on the agenda for the day, then you can easily discuss prisms and refraction. For investigations into reflection, refraction, and color mixing, the Optics Upgrade 2 has all of your needs. A 360 degree protractor mount on a support post allows you to place different lenses in the path of light and record accurate measurements. A magnet ensures the lenses will not move during the experiment. The light source allows you to place different screens on the front of the unit. So if you want a single beam for refraction or multiple beams to show convergence, the choices are there for you. Besides the assortment of lenses that can be used, there's also a flexible and flat mirror. Here we can demonstrate a converging or diverging mirror. You can also demonstrate the key law of reflection. You can have the students measure the angle of incidence and reflection. The color mixer takes advantage of the light emanating from the sides of the bulb. Using different color filters allows students to see how colors mix together. If you only want to mix two colors, then remove a filter and place in a blind. With this device, you can easily demonstrate additive color mixing. The Optics Upgrade 3 is a laser optics kit for studying diffraction. The diode laser mounts easily to the same type of mounting carriage as the other optical equipment. It can also operate on its own internal battery for more freedom during an experiment. There are a variety of gratings offered with a kit. Each has a known spacing between the lines. A set of six have consistent spacing but with an increasing number of slits. A set of three coarse gratings is also included. A fine metal gauze demonstrates the bidimensional diffraction patterns. The variety of diffraction gratings allows students to see patterns between the number of slits and the spacing of the lines. As an introduction to diffraction, you can ask the students about how the space of the lines affects the diffraction pattern. Here we have 100, 300, and 600 lines per millimeter. Using the known diffraction gratings, you can perform quantitative experiments to find the wavelength of the laser or the distance between the lines of the wire mesh. As you've seen, the Senko Mechanics Track can be a useful piece of equipment for your classroom, not only during lessons on mechanics, but also during lessons on optics. All of the optics holders can be used among the different optics kits. Since it is Senko, you know it will last, making a useful investment for your physics lab. <laughs>